what I'm going to do today is take a shallow well pump and fabricate it so that it can pump water from a rain barrel. This is what I'm going to be using today, a one inch system, glue and primer, 10 feet of pipe, one way check valve, uh, I've got an adapter, I've got a connector, wire clamp, elbow, coarse Teflon tape, a saw, and a garden a spigot. The wire is a 12 gauge, three wire that I'm going to use an extension cord with. I'll put a parts list in the comment section. First thing I'm going to do is change this to a 115 volt because that's what I'm going to run. So I'll open that up and give it a switch. So I have the cover off now. There's the switch, 230. And now we're at 115. We'll replace the cover and uh, we'll get it wired. Now the wiring is going to require a connector. So got three of those. We'll do a heat shrink and we'll get it hooked up. Have it wired up, clamped in, grounded, heat shrunk. We have the cover back on. Now we will switch to the discharge with the garden hose. It'll take the garden valve and a one inch to three quarter inch reducer. My plan is to mount the pump on top of the rain barrel and have the intake come out of here and go down into the barrel and discharge here. So we'll start piecing stuff. This is the intake piping, the elbow, the connector, check valve, and the intake. Here's the final intake, the one inch adapter threaded to the one inch glue in with the elbow, down to the connector, and then down to the check valve with the flow going into the barrel. Now we have a leak here. Even after tightening it, it still seems to be a leak. I noticed that they used an absurd amount of Teflon tape everywhere else, but I don't see any on this, so I think we're going to have to take that apart and put some on. Here's what I found inside. It's like the washer was improperly installed and clearly it's deformed and misshapen. So I'm going to work on making a new one and put some Teflon tape on here and hopefully we'll be good to go. Okay, with the new O-ring and Teflon tape, it's not leaking. With the new O-ring and a Teflon tape in, We've built pressure and we're not leaking anymore. So here we have our hose connected to the pump and the garden spigot with the adapter, all of our tubing. Very good pressure coming from the hose. Bringing it down, shift it down, we hit 30. 